Good morning. Let's try it again. Good morning. Good morning. Let's try it again. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, my name is Clarence Calloway. I am a former high school principal. I worked in the Cap Schools for 37 years. I worked as a principal for 33 years. I have been principal of Chamrock Middle School, Chapel Hill Middle School, Destiny Achievers Academy, Washington Elementary. I worked and then I worked at the central office as a health and PE coordinator. Today we're talking about the 10 essential elements that will get you through high school. What I have today, if you follow these essentials, you will graduate high school. The president made a very statement that I thought was profound. The president said, you cannot drop out of high school and drop into a great paying job. You cannot drop out of school and just drop into a good job. A good job requires a good education. Make sense? Make sense? Speak up. Make sense? Yes. Let me share something with you. I love to cut my yard, and I cut it in the middle of the day when it's extremely hot. I'm from the south, so it can't get too hot for me. I have a riding mower, but sometimes I'd rather push. I have two acres that I push. Back in January, I saw that the weeds were overtaking my yard. You know, crabgrass is rough here in Georgia. Crabgrass is just overtaking my yard. So I called a Scots. I said, come over and give me an estimate on my yard. $659. I said, no way I'm doing it myself. So I go to the deep Home Depot, and I get pesticide, weed killer. It says put two ounces of pesticide per 16 ounces of water. The container I had held one and one fourth gallon of water. How much pesticide should I have put in that water? You don't have to answer. But here's my point. Even something as simple as lawn care calls for what? Calls for what? Education. education. Something as simple as lawn care calls for education. Do you realize that the gentleman who take care of the braised field make close to $300,000 a year? And all he has to do is keep the grass green. Chicago, the Chicago Bears, their field. These gentlemen make a very, very nice salary. Just keeping the grass green. But can you imagine? Universities, hospitals, major corporations, they are based on curb appeal. When you drive up and you see the lawn care, it's not happenstance. There is a person doing that who is educated. Something as simple as cutting people's yards requires an education. So why do we drop out of school? According to society, there's nothing in this world more useless than an uneducated black man. Why are y'all staring at me like that? Did you hear what I said? There's nothing more useless than an uneducated black man. You know why? Because he can't contribute. Can't contribute to anything. Because un uneducated is equivalent to unemployed. And if you're unemployed, you can't pay the rent. But if you don't work, you can't what? Because you don't have any what? Not, you don't have any money. Because you don't have any money. See, if you don't work, you don't have any money to pay taxes. So, you're useless. You can't help your family. You can't contribute to your community, to your county. You can't help your state. Because you can't contribute at all. Because you don't have anything. It's based on education. Is, is that pretty clear? Is, is that clear? Think about it. Uneducated, unemployed, you can't even help your family. Now, when you live in an apartment or a house when you rent, what do they do? You get what? You get evicted. So what does that mean? They put you out. In other words, they put you out. Now, the Cab County can't put you out of the county, but they can make it so hard on you that you want to leave or you do something stupid and end up where? In jail. You guys own it, and you end up in jail. 
So that cycle just goes on and on. You're, un you're uneducated, you're unemployed, you do something stupid and you end up where? In jail. Because it's better to have you in jail because you're not contributing to what? Anything. 